Today's video, we're going to take a look at XLB on the weekly chart. Okay, we need a little bit of perspective, so that's why we have to look at a bit more data. And I do have a setup in this. But what I'm going to start by doing is um, just recreating the setup that I've already done. And that is, um, let's see, we're going to take these prior declines, project them from the recent high. We're also going to do some of the swings inside of the swing. Actually, there's one more here, this high to this low, projected from the high. Okay, that comes in a little bit higher. And then we're also going to take 100% of the first swing down and project it from, let's see, which is the higher high? That's 61.21, and this one is 61.16, so from here we'll project that. Now that comes in a little bit closer at 52 and a quarter. So what I also want to see is, are there any other... Uh, price relationships that overlap where the symmetry comes in. So I'm going to run the retracements of um, some of these swings and see what, oh, there's a 618 that overlaps there. Um, this one, you're slightly through it. Let's try for some extensions of prior swings. Okay, there's an extension that falls below the market. And then let's look at this extension. And that comes in a little bit below. So there's an area that starts to stand out where you can anticipate a possible low. I mean, you might not get any buy triggers against it, but you would definitely want to watch this general area because of the potential support here. Um, let me just try this though, see if there's one other extension. Oh, well, we already have that one in there. So anyway, the area that I would focus on and I would wait for a signal, don't just step in front of the freight train, but the area to define risk against is this 51.22 to 52.25 area. Waiting to see if I see some, you know, buy triggers. I mean, you can use the zone with day trade triggers if you like or you can wait for a swing trade trigger, which is going to take a while longer. So anyway, that's what I'm looking at in XLB. I hope it helps.